So you see me do the unboxing, you see me do the setup of the Finui Mini Fanless PC, but what's inside and what makes this thing tick? Well, we're gonna find out right now. Hold on, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the little bell notification icon. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. It's actually a pretty decent machine for what it is and for how much it costs. So let's go ahead, open it up. I've gathered a few tools because I'm not sure exactly what I need to open it up. I do know I'm gonna need a flathead just to take these little rubber pegs off. And under these rubber pegs should be little screws. All right, so there's screws right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and see that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this little sticky stuff. And just place it right back on here. That way it's still sticky for later. Actually, I don't need to. So I'll just take off that little screw here. I have a precision screwdriver. That way I can get rid of the little teeny tiny screws. All right, and I can't get this screw out, so I'm just gonna have to use my magnetizer, demagnetizer. That way, it just comes right out. I'll go ahead and link it in the description below so you guys can check it out on Amazon, as well as this mini PC. Now, one thing they teach you in Boy Scouts <laughs> is don't cut towards your hand, and that's kind of the same thing as I'm doing with this flathead, but I'm kind of still doing it anyway. Okay, now that should be it. May not. I'm gonna go ahead and use oops, the flat head to kind of help me for leverage here. All right, so that may not be the only one. Maybe under here. There we go. May have broken it, I may have not. I don't know just yet. Mind you, of course, doing this will avoid your warranty, but I'm checking out to see if maybe, just maybe, there's a way we can maybe update this, put some better cooling, some more RAM, maybe additional storage. All right, so just took it apart. All right, so it looks like there's a giant heat sink right over the CPU. Right, and let's see if I can take it apart with the screwdriver and I can very nice it's teeny tiny let me go ahead and zoom in for you so you can see right here is where you connect the power USB 3 HDMI Ethernet the headphone jack and this looks to be like the power button Okay, along the side here, there was nothing back here. Okay, again, the big old heat sink. This looks to be, yep, this is the Wi-Fi adapter. Pretty cool. And coming around this way. Okay, nothing over there. Then we can see the SD memory card slot, two USB ports, and I'm not sure what that one is compared to the one of these could be a reset. Let me see. Okay, so this one, this one was power. And this one, I guess that is a refresh or a reset. That's cool, I have to play with that in a little bit. But you could see the little teeny tiny screws I was talking about. These are really tiny. And thankfully this screwdriver can do it. Okay, you could see that screw there, teeny tiny screw. Just putting it aside for right now. 
And again, I will stress, doing this will void your warranty. I just want to show you guys what's under the hood. All right, so taking this off. Okay, so we can see here, this is the CPU. Let me zoom out. Right there is the CPU. I don't know if I can get a good shot of that, but if I can, I'll include it there. Then right over here, that's a SanDisk chip. So that's storage, and I'll go ahead and put a picture up here if I can of exactly what it is. And then right over here, we have the Hynix memory chips. This would be for the RAM. So sadly, we're not able to put another RAM module in there. Not exactly sure what this one is, but I'll go ahead and take a picture of it if I can and let you know right here. <clears throat> and then we have this guy right over here. Also not sure about it, but I'll go ahead and see if I can find it and put it right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the board from the bottom of the case. Maybe there's something underneath that would allow us to update it. Now one thing I did notice, while it does have these pads under there, let's see. Yep, that is going over the CPU, this chip here, and this chip here. So I'll go ahead and let you know soon what those are. But let's go ahead and take these off real quick. All right, so we're done there. I think that should be good enough. I'm gonna be gentle because actually, I'll just take that off for now, okay? So I disconnected the Wi-Fi and we can see under here, this looks to be like the memory. You can see how it's right behind the Hynix modules. So I don't know that there would be an easy way to change that, but right here is the CMOS battery, which it makes sense that it would have one, it is a PC. And then that's how it connects to the motherboard itself. So that's all pretty cool. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find out what everything is on here and then get back to you guys real quick. All right, my friends. So I did a little research on what every single one of these chips was. So first off, these guys right over here. This is in total a four gig module of DDR3 at 1.35 volts. Sadly, it is soldered on, so we're not gonna be able to do too much with it. Okay, so then over here, there was this very difficult one to find. It's the AXP288 battery management solutions for Intel SLC boards by XPower. And then moving along right over here, this one fooled me. I'm honestly just used to seeing Intel on there, but this is a 1000 base T gigabit ethernet chip. So it's what allows us to, for this ethernet port to work. I can't really show it to you because I'm all zoomed in, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, and then this guy right over here, that is the Intel Atom X5 Z8350, the Cherry Trail processor. Okay, and then hidden over here, because it is incredibly tiny. Let me zoom in a little tiny bit if I can. All right, so this is the Realtek ALC5651 Ultra Low Power Two Channel Audio. So incredibly tiny. Again, let me zoom out so you can see just how tiny that is. Look at that, again, that was right, I think that was it, yep. No, I'm sorry. This one right over here, that's just how tiny that was. This one right over here, if you remember I was saying it has a limited amount of storage, that is the SanDisk EMCC 64 gig INAND 7550 EMCC 5.1 chip surface mounted flash memory. So this is essentially, or it is an SD card just kind of mounted right there. So pretty cool. 
And then we have right over here, that is actually a Wi-Fi adapter. It's the Wi-Fi 11 AC plus Bluetooth 4.1 module. So everything right on this board kind of explained. Again, just how tiny this little guy is and you know, so many things on it. So anyway, I'm gonna put this back together. Hopefully it works, but I plan on making one more video on this. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Dig yeah. See you guys.